for WICN comes from listeners like you. Thank you. Every day here at 90.5, we continue the tradition of giving you the world's best jazz. And today, it gets even better as New England's top jazz artists perform for you live in the WICN Performance Studio. This is Live Jazz New England. Here's your host, jazz pianist Pamela Himes. Good afternoon and welcome to Live Jazz New England. I'm your host, Pamela Hines, and we are featuring cabaret jazz today as we welcome Shepley Metcalf with pianist Ron Roy. They have appeared in the Metropolitan Room, Scholars, and the Acton Jazz Cafe. On September 19th, they'll be at the Amazing Things Arts Center in Framingham to present a new show called Going Places, songs about travel and all the magnificent places to visit in this world. So let's get started with a few tunes that you'll hear at their upcoming show. The first tune is from their 2014 CD, and it's called Don't Bother to Knock. Don't bother to knock, to knock There ain't no one here but me That was uh, from our album, Don't Bother to Knock, which is all uh, obscure, little-known gems from the 30s to 50s. And uh, this next tune is uh, from the 30s, and like all of the songs on that album, uh, been barely recorded since it was first heard. And it's uh, a, a kind of advice about what to do during a difficult marital issue. Break down my gate and ring my front doorbell. 
So go have your fling and don't miss a thing. I'll see you down on earth by and by. Remember what goes up must come down. Baby, you've been flying too high. you walk in papers before it's too late cause I know you so well when you're through with cutting capers you'll come break down my gate and ring my front door bell so go have your fling and don't miss a thing I'll see you down on earth by and by remember what goes up simply must come down babe you've been flying too high too high Thank you. And Pamela, we want to thank you for having us here. We're really pleased to be here. Um, this next tune was written in 1930 by a composer that I'm sure a lot of your listeners know of, Richard Whiting. He wrote everything from On the Good Ship Lollipop to Ain't We Got Fun. And I, I love this. Just such a romantic ballad about uh, love at first sight. <laughs> the boy I dreamed all through school about. There goes the boy I'll now be a fool about. Bring down the curtain. I'm certain that present my future just passed. I don't even know if he has been spoken for. If he is tied, the ties must be broken For life can't be that way To wake me, then break me My future just passed Stars in the blue, though you're at a distance You can at least do this a girl encounters resistance help me to win his kiss here are my arms may he find illusion there oh look in my heart there is no confusion there now that I'm loving I'm living at last my future just passed 
beautiful tune. <laughs> um, we're going to do one more. And uh, Ron Roy here at the piano had the brilliant idea of combining these two songs. The first is a standard that's well known from 1944. And the second is a tune that I heard on an old album by Annette Hanshaw, who was very popular in the 20s and 30s. And she recorded some fabulous songs that, in some cases, nobody has recorded since. But we did. We dug it up, and we loved it. And uh, so here are these two, two tunes, the well-known and the obscure. <laughs> Lately, I find myself out gazing at stars Hearing guitars like someone in love Sometimes the things I do astound me Mostly whenever you're around me Lately I seem to walk as though I had wings I bump into things like someone in love Each time I look at you I'm limp as a glove And feeling like someone in love I'm a lion who acts like a lamb every time I'm with you. I'm a student who passed the exam every time I'm with you. I'm a tourist gone abroad on a trip I can't afford. I'm most anything that I want to be. I'm a Christmas tree. I'm an actor who acts like a ham. Every time I'm with you I'm a berry that wants to be jam Every time I'm with you All these many things that I change into The cause by the love that I feel for you Every time, every time I'm with you Taking a bow every time I'm with you. I'm an engine that really knows how every time I'm with you. I'm a funny circus clown who gets laughs in every town. I'm a yes girl who just said no. I'm mistletoe. I'm a jailbird just out of the clink every time. With you, I'm a rabbit that wants to be mink every time I'm with you. All these many things that I change into, the cause by the love that I feel for you. Oh, every time, oh, every time, oh, every time, every time, oh, every time, oh, every time, oh, every time I'm with you. Thank you. Mm. Wonderful. You are listening to Live Jazz New England on 90.5 WICN. I'm your host, Pamela Hines. And my guest today is Shepley Metcalf with Ron Roy on piano. Well, I have to ask you right away about um, Annette Hanshaw. So <laughs> the rabbit that wants to be mink. I had to write down a quick, 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 quick one because they were so clever. And then the very that wants to be jam. Can you tell us about Annette a little bit? What did yeah, you... She didn't write the song, but she was a really well-known singer in the 20s and 30s who just, I, I find that almost no one um, knows of her now, but the, she did this very 
a sort of peculiar thing is that she kept changing her stage name. So she was in that Hanshaw for a while, and then she was Mary something. So that I think it made it a little hard for her to you know, build up a fan base <laughs> because you know you never knew who who she was. But she's got some great tunes that she recorded. So I, if your listeners don't know of her, she's a fun person to. Wait, was she out of New York or out of Boston? Um, or? You know that I don't know. I'm not sure where she was from. Um, but there, she has a lot of albums out. Oh, and, yeah. and from the 20s and 30s, you said yes, she recorded that was around that time. Yes, biggest time. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then my future just passed. I thought those were now that I'm loving, I'm living at last. I, I love that that line. And um, so these, I'm just so excited by these um, tunes that I, you know, I didn't know about, and here they are, and the the lyrics are so clever, and it's just like ah, you know. So can you tell us? Um, uh, about my future just passed and how you how you came um, to um, you know uh, come upon these songs. How did you mm-hmm. get knowledge of these that they well, existed? Well, I um, did a lot of listening. I I would uh, in a couple of different ways. Either I would Ron and I might be learning a well-known song, and then I'd think, huh, I, I wonder. You know, I know this song was recorded, say, by Ella Fitzgerald, but who wrote it? And then looking up the composer, and if I thought the lyrics and the melody was great, let's let's see what else that composer has written. And of course, this is an easy thing to do today in the world of YouTube and iTunes. Back, Ron and I started performing together in 2008, and even back then, I was going to, which is still fun to do, some of the remaining vinyl stores and looking through old albums. But we have found that there's, you know, there are hundreds of songs that were recorded in the 20s, 30s, 40s, and of course, some of them became what is known as the American Songbook and our standards. But there are lots of other ones that maybe, you know, maybe they had a sort of a funny arrangement or, you know, for some reason they didn't get picked up by the big name singers. So we've just found it really fun digging these up. Um, and and particu- there, there's something about the songs from the 30s in particular, even 38 and 39, we find that a lot of the songs that we do are from those two years. And I don't know why that is, but just very witty uh, and, and, you know, and wise lyrics. I often wonder if the the, the t- place in history when the songs were like that, you know, that was, you know, a de- almost a decade of no of not being in war. And then we started to right. enter into it. So right maybe the- maybe their people started turning their lyrics to, you know. Things less heavy as when mm-hmm. we after 1941 they were they were pretty um, pretty deep and sad when you really re- try to read into everything that was written around that time. So I so now you and Ron kind of you go together you kind of research together you you have Ron you have an extensive uh, background in music theater and, and and cabaret and opera so so you um, have. Um, Probably have a library of of tunes in your in your head that you'd love in my to, head. yeah. Yeah, I mean, I I've always had a taste for a whole variety of music, um, but my what I love the most has been working with singers and um, working one on one. And what I love about working with um, Shepley is we, Pam, you were mentioning these lyrics, and usually what attracts us to a song. Well, first of all, the melody, obviously, but then the lyrics, some lyrics just call out to us. And what is really fun is that we then try to work on the song uh, in a way which best shows the lyrics. Um, and that's sort of the joy that we have in this. And 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 so it's fun to find these new these songs that um, not everybody performs because pe- oftentimes songs that you know you sort of just listen to the music. You're not always um, listening to the lyric or you know it so well. But to really make these songs that people don't know listen to the lyric and hear the lyric um, and open them up to like all this world of music that's out there. Um, so. It's lots of fun. I think that I think that that's it. That we don't know these songs, so we're super listening, you know. And <laughs> and so when we're hearing it for the first time, we get a good laugh because it, it's so fresh, you know. And yet it was written so long ago. So yeah. thanks for bringing these to us. <laughs> this is great. And no, it's great. Um, so now we've got you've got a new show that you're going to perform at the Amazing Arts Center on September 19th, mm-hmm. and um, it's called Going Places. And we have some more of this wonderful material. So um, I want to sort of get back to that music, um, and you can. And purchase tickets uh, at the Amazing Things Arts Center at the door if you want, or you can buy online. 
Um, so what would you like to perform next? This is this will be part of your upcoming show. Yes, these are will. These next songs are all uh, ones that we'll be doing in this show, going places. Which um, it's the songs are from the 30s all the way up, all the way to the turn of the century, all the way up to the 90s, and they're city songs and traveling tunes. And we're going to start out with uh, an ode to New York City and the fast pace of life there. And this tune is by the incredible American lyricist Fran Landisman, who Ron and I love. And we did an album of her work years Which ago. You, you might want to share a little bit of how you came about that. Fran. Oh, well, Fra- Fran Landisman wrote, good idea, Ron. Fran Landisman wrote uh, the standard spring can really hang you up the most. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know, beautiful song beautiful. Uh, recorded by every big jazz singer. And that was really the start for me of going, that's a great song. The lyrics are really interesting. Who wrote that? Found out it was someone named Fran Landisman and tried to get in touch with her. I found other lyrics on her website and and finally um, got in touch with the composer she worked with. And Ron and I were the first people to get their published songs in the 90s. And I flew to London and met her. She was in her 80s. And her songs are wonderful. They're mostly not love songs. They're about the other hundreds of issues and situations in life. Um, and she was a native New Yorker. So this oh. song, again, is about, about how she feels about the city. In a New York minute, on a New York street, You get the feeling that the world is sweet There are stylish people, speed and sex Magic moments, tragic wrecks In the New York Minute You can feel the beat As a cast of thousands Marches down the street As the lights are changing, the traffic stalls. Someone's star is rising, another falls. Shining towers, breathless views. Laughs and squalor, sights that bruise. It's the perfect city if you've got a buck. But it shows no pity when you're out of luck. Though it's not the city that you thought it was In a New York taxi you can get a buzz You can be your apple if you're strong enough You can make a killing if you've got the stuff In a New York minute you can feel the beat As a cast of thousands marches down the street up in Central Park, but don't stroll around there when it's growing dark, as your dreams are dancing in your eager head, in a New York minute, you could wind up dead, or you could get lucky, if your timing's right, you can take the Thank you. That the uh, Simon Wallace is the name of the pianist and composer that Fran Landisman worked with on that song and, and many others. And uh, this next tune is about uh, another important city in our country, and it was written by a, a singer-songwriter that I just discovered in the last year or two, named Susan Werner. And she's sort of more in the folk vein, and she's just a fabulous. Uh, writer. I, I suggest you look her up if you don't know her. And here's her ode to her native city. You take Manhattan, you can have Batten. 
give me Chicago any day. L.A. may be hot, ain't got what we got. Give me Chicago any day. Give me the down home people who say what they mean. Give me the lake and the river, surprisingly clean. Give me the best tall buildings the world has ever seen. We scrape the blue from the sky, so there's nothing left for Cleveland. Don't need to see more of old Baltimore. Give me Chicago any day. Or go get lost in the streets of Boston. Give me Chicago any day. Just give me Michigan Avenue any time of year. Leave and you'll wish again. Now haven't you that you were living here? Oh, music and drama. Barack Obama, give me Chicago any day. Give me the full length overcoat, the two button suit. Give me the Field Museum and the Art Institute. Give me the Cubs out at Wrigley. We root, 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 and if they win, you would say they exceeded expectations. Go see Grant Park. That ain't no Scant Park. Give me Chicago. Give me Chicago. Go ride the L train. Now isn't that a swell train? Give me Chicago any day. Because the way I reckon when the reckoning's done, the second city is second to none. Oh, enough chit chat about Manhattan. Give me Chicago any day. Give me Chicago any day. Now, in our show, Going Places, there are a lot of songs about actual places, but also tunes about, you know, the ways that we get the places we go and what the experience is of the journeys. And uh, this next tune was written in 1939, as I mentioned, <laughs> one of my favorite years, um, by the incredible songwriting team of, of Johnny Mercer and Jimmy Van Heusen. <laughs> I took a trip on a train And I thought about you I passed a shadowy lane And I thought about you Two or three cars Parked under the stars Oh, and in stream Moon shining down On some little town And with each beam Same old dream At every stop that we made Oh, I thought about you
I read or somebody said that out of sight is out of mind. Well, maybe that's so, but I tried to go and leave you behind. What did I find? jerker for sure. I, I read about that song that uh, Jimmy Van Heusen wrote the melody and gave it to Johnny Mercer as he was getting on a train from New York to Chicago and he actually wrote the lyrics while he was on his train ride which just makes it all the more poignant. <laughs> We're going to do one more tune um, as part of this uh, travel set, part of the Going Places show and this one uh, this one Ron dug up. Um, it's written by Cozy Sheridan, who, how would you describe her, Ron? Sort of a... a folk, another folk artist. Yeah, and I... I was sort she from pop-up. Boston? I don't... She's from I'm New England, sure. I think. <laughs> she's from New Thank Hampshire. You. Excellent. Aha, an audience member you, knows her audience. great. <laughs> <laughs> so, Thank that you, Thank you. That is awesome. Uh, so, uh, this, unfortunately, in, in a way, is something that Boston is known for, but <laughs> <laughs> what can we do? Return to the land where I was born, where the cautious driver is scorned. They believe in the hand and the horn, and if the social fabric is torn, well, they got places to go and things to do that are on the other side of you. Important people coming through, and you're in their way. Welcome to Boston, have a nice day. Welcome to Boston, have a nice day. The occasional insult gets hurled when they are out to rule the world. You might think that you should go first, but the master of the universe is on the phone and on the wheel. He closes in while he closes his deal. He's on task and you're in his way. Welcome to Boston. Have a nice day. Welcome to Boston. Have a nice day. They've got a busy life planned. The rain 
brains are in their hands. Oh, but who's really happy? Life is just stress. They have medication. They do not need rest. They just need you to get out of their way. Welcome to Boston. Have a nice day. Oh, welcome to Boston. Have a nice day. So you are listening to 90.5 WICN. This is Live Jazz New England. I'm your host, Pamela Hines, and my guest today is Shepley Metcalf with Ron Roy on piano. So which one of you picked that one? Boston. <laughs> you did? How did you, get, how did you come across that, Ron? You know, in the same way that um, Shepley was talking about, um, you, you can go online and you just you spend hours looking. We were looking for songs Songs that not necessarily everybody knew again. Um, and about cities. <laughs> yeah, about cities. And I don't remember how I stumbled on this. I really stumbled on it. All of a sudden, it was there. I listened, and I had known of Cozy Sheridan. I really like her a lot. And I said, Shepley, you're not going to believe this song. <laughs> I thought it would be good to have a song about our hometown. Oh, it's hilarious. It's so good. The thing is, sometimes we've done it in one show where we weren't sure if people were a little insulted. So we now say it's all in jest. It's just a... Yeah, yeah. You have to take it in in with humor. (laughs) My goodness, you know, you live here. You, I laugh at myself sometimes Mm -hmm. behind the wheel. My goodness, you know. So that's just hilarious lyrics. Um, so uh, now the two of you met at something called the Tuscany Project, which is a 10-day intensive vocal work- workshop in Italy. Is that correct? Yes. And you, um, uh, Roy was on the teaching staff, and then you began to meet stateside. Um, Roy is from Acton and is also on the faculty of Boston Conservatory. And, and you again, we have extensive credits in cabaret and musical theater and mm-hmm. opera. So... Um, so I know chemistry is extremely important. It's very apparent between the two of you. So how did you meet in Tuscany, and how did that evolve? Do you want to tell well, the story? I was, well, I was, you know, we met um, in 2005, mm-hmm. correct? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ten summers ago. Right, ten summers ago. And I remember the song Shepley sang, I Want to Be Loved, which we haven't done <laughs> since. but um, And we had a great time. It's, it's a great project. We're in our 23rd year now, and it's uh, it's... Exploring the voice through song, uh, movement, and theater. And it's open to anyone, anyone who doesn't think they're a singer, to professionals. And it's like a 10-day intensive camp for adults. Uh, you eat together, you sing together, you, know, you live 24 hours a day together. But most importantly, you sing, you make music. And so Shepley and I really hit it off. Uh, we came back to the States. At the time, I was a pastry chef. And I was just doing music on the side. And um, two years after that, I had decided to do music again. And I sent out a notice to former students. And Shepley contacted me. And that was sort of the start of our working together full time. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and I'd like to then. say to any of your listeners that if it is the Tuscany Project is just the most marvelous experience. And again, you don't have to be someone that has even sung in a chorus or in any way. There, there were when The summer that I went, there were a couple of people who played violin or guitar and, and just had always felt too shy about singing. And it's, it's just this very supportive, um, very fun, and in the, one of the most beautiful settings you can imagine being. So, so what, what did you take away? Like what was the most, the strongest thing, the sense of community or just the, the, the learning that you had there or just kind of knowing that other people felt the same way you did about, you know, one thing or another? What was the most poignant thing that you took away from that uh, project? That's a good question. Um, well, it was a very supportive um, atmosphere, and I was looking to get back in music into music at that point. I'd sung a little in college and then sung in the early 90s in a cabaret duo, and it had been 10 years. So I went there hoping to get kind of inspired and supported. So the support, but I think the thing that really struck me um, was one of the things you do there is you you come knowing a song. You have to have the lyrics down, and you work with Ron and uh, Belinda Halpern, who's another and the, another faculty member there, another founder, and you really work on it for 10 days. You spend time really thinking about 
everything to do with the song and how to present it in a way that's going to have the most impact and, and be tr- true to the song. But and I don't think I'd ever. I don't think I. I don't think I knew really what an arrangement was before I went there. And so I think that was one of my big takeaways, is that you need to craft a song, or ideally you craft a song as a singer and a a pianist to to make it your own, and not just copy the Billie Holiday arrangement or the Ella arrangement or whoever you're listening to. I noticed on, I thought about you, Ron, you came in with a totally different chord that I thought you were going to come in on. So, (laughs) And then you kind of, you go to different keys a little bit sometimes. I'm yeah, I did. A, I'll tell you one of the challenges that Shepley and I have working as a duo is a lot of these songs are incredibly short, right? They're, bands do them and people take solos and, uh, you know, so Shepley and I end up doing a set that has maybe 20 songs in it where a jazz combo can do five or six songs. So what my challenge sometimes is to find a way to not always play solo, but or like in that song, we did the verse in between the song. So yes, we just yes. try to find ways that it makes sense dramatically, but also that you listen differently. Yeah, I thought uh, that was brilliant. I, 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 oh, I was you. like, oh, here it is. <laughs> that was, and it was, um, what key was that in? That was a, a like, uh, well, I started in F and then, and that, um, to get to the bridge is what I had to do. Then I went to B flat minor oh. to get to the, to the bridge and then go back to the key. So it was like, I love doing that. As you're a <laughs> pianist, you know, it's really fun to find the ways to get from one point to the other. Yeah, I think it's exciting too to find that you know, oh, this is this is what I can do here. That's really a, a, a great thrill. Um, so we have. Um, I want to talk a little bit about the 2010 release, um, something irresistible songs of Fran Landisman and Simon Wallace. And this is what we've been sort of discussing today. That got you a review in the New York Times. All right, we're going to do. This was a song that. Um Fran Landisman wrote the lyrics to, and uh, Roy Kroll of um, Jackie and Roy, yes, yes. he wrote the music. Oh. They they teamed up for a while and wrote some wonderful songs. <laughs> Through the windows of cars. I've seen rainbows and stars, tattoo parlors and bars, through the windows of cars, on the way to a dream. I've seen it all, fat cats chewing cigars, beaches, brides and bazaars, through the windows of cars. Fields and oceans and odd corners, Johnny come lately's and odd corners, hotels, motels, rainy reflections, future victims asking directions. Flashing by in the lights, I've seen it all. Now 
we're going to do a song from uh, 1930 um, that's on our Don't Bother to Knock album. And it was made famous by Fats Waller. And it's another one that we just don't know why no one's recorded it since. It has just luscious little lyrics. <laughs> You're not the only oyster in the stew. You're not the only tea leaf in the tea. However, I'm convinced, completely convinced, that you're the only one for me. You're not the only oyster in the stew. You're not the only tea leaf in the tea. However, I'm convinced, completely convinced, that you're the only one for me. You're not the only wrinkle in the prune. You're not the only apple on the tree. Still, it's a fact, a logical fact, that you're the only one for me. You're so well supplied with the things I seek Your smile's refreshing, your kiss is unique When you're around, I'm susceptible and weak I love you Well, there are seven million people in New York And fifty million Frenchmen in Paris to mention such the English, Irish, Italians and Dutch but you're the only one for me so much. We're going to do a tune now that uh, Anita O'Day recorded. It's yet another one that no one seems to have done since her, and it's uh, from, I think, 1950 or thereabouts, and it kind of has that feel to it, but it might be still relevant today, maybe not. There is that moment your heart is broken and you can't stand the pain well let me warn you it's just the start of the getaway and the chase there is that moment your arms are empty there's no one around the place well let me warn you it's just the start of the getaway and the chase you find yourself near the all-familiar Looking for that lost embrace But while you wonder Your love may wander To some sweeter place And start the race It's not because he doesn't love you, but there's so much life to taste. 
So if he wanders, don't give up. It's such an awful waste. It's the game that lovers play, called the getaway and the chase. for tuning in today to Live Jazz New England. I'd like to thank Shepley Metcalf and Ron Roy for performing. They'll be presenting all this great music that you've heard today on September 19th at the Amazing Thing Arts Center in Framingham. And you can purchase tickets online or at the door. And you can find out more about Shepley by going to shepleymetcalf.com. Our piano is provided by the Piano Mill in Rockland. And you can find out more by going to pianomill.com. Thanks to General Manager Tom Lucci and to Asta Srista and Kate Traveling, who wear many hats here at WICN. And John Marable is our promotions producer. You can find out more about our guests by liking Live Jazz New England on Facebook. If you go to the photo section, you can hear past shows presented on YouTube. Thanks to our live audience today. And remember that all shows are free and open to the public at our studios at 50 Portland Street in Worcester. So come on down and enjoy the jazz right Right in front of you. Until next time, this is Pamela Hines for Live Jazz New England on 90.5 WICN Jazz Plus for New England.